So it's Saturday, you know what I'm talking about? On this episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Cell. Y'all know we've been working on the project on the Yukon. So, today we're going to do something different. We're going to send something off. So, holla child in a minute. This is the package my wife wrapped up for me. We're going to send this thing off. It is the old cluster. I mean, the cluster we got out there can from the junkyard. As y'all see what the mileage is on the old cluster, so 207. So we're going to send this off to have this match that mileage. So, holla y'all in a minute. This is the company we're sending this off to, United Radio. And it's in Syracuse, New York. So, yeah. Today is what? April the 17th? So... We up here at FedEx. Got to ship this thing off. You know what I'm talking about? So we'll see it in, I guess, a few days, a week, or something like that. I don't know. Shit. Yeah. But you know what I'm bumping in the car? Yeah. Can't play it for copyright for YouTube, but hey. <laughs> so we're going to holler at y'all. You know, see, UPS just left. Brought me my package. Yeah. We already know what this is. It's for the girl here. So, be back in a little bit, y'all. Well, we sent it off last week, around this time, last Saturday. Matter of fact, exactly around this time last Saturday. And uh, we're shipping and everything. They got it last Wednesday. I mean, they got, no, they got this past Wednesday. Shipped it out that same day, because they gave me a call. And here it is, this Saturday, shipping is here. So, yeah. Gonna get that out of there and get the new one in. So, I'll tell y'all in a minute. Well, it wasn't packaged like this when my wife sent it off, but uh, they let her take it off for you. Other than that, it's packaged real well. It's got old styrofoam and shit. She probably used that on her little DIY project on her channel. You know, y'all go check out Stephanie D. Brown Ames on her YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, here it is. It's paid for. And so on and so forth. So, check it out. How to try a minute. Again, this is the company that I sent it to. And let's see here. This is what all they done to replace the lamp side of the circuit board and the connectors and display and re the gauges. And everything's paid for. And this is what it came out to. So, yeah. So, let's get putting this motherfucker in here. I'll try in a minute. Yeah, in order to put this in here, I don't know if y'all know, put that down. So, on break, emergency break on. Right in the corner right there. Going right there. Pull this bitch up out of here. Set it to the side. Now. What you got here is, like I say, got a seven millimeter, seven millimeter, and a seven millimeter, and a another seven millimeter. So pull those out, and this motherfucker will come out. There's a plug at the very top. When I get this out, I'll show y'all. So be back in a minute. This is the connector I was telling y'all about. Grab hold this dude with one hand. Pull it like that, like so. Pull that bitch to the side. Like that, like the rest of this shit. So now this is what you got left. So be back in a minute, put the new shit in. How about y'all? Here we got the new cluster. They even put plastic on this bitch to protect the film on it. So yeah. Most folks do this modification because they want transmission uh temperature gauge and plus this motherfucker better where it goes 120 something thousand I mean, 120 miles per hour of course the whole one no transmission gauge being i just put a new, new transmission in this damn truck i think i want to know how hot my shit is you know what i'm saying and it doesn't and it only goes 100 miles per hour so therefore we want the new shit when, when this cost was from escalate and it's the original one to the truck so they also put the mileage that's on the truck on this, so I'll tell you in a minute. So everything's back in. I guess we tried old girl out before we, you know, 
put the bezel back on. So there you go. to me. Yep. Looks good to me, goddammit. So, yeah. About that on that. Let's go and put this bitch back together, put old Humpty Dumpty together again, you know. I'll try in a minute. Man, it's finished product. Well, the check engine light, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure y'all want to know what the fuck that is. Uh, check engine light, just for whoever owned this before, this is a flex fuel vehicle, and they took off the flex fuel uh, capabilities of the truck. So therefore, I gotta go find me a, uh, a tuner to take that out the computer system. Wish I knew how to do all that tuning and shit. I can make me a whole lot more money than what I'm making. I need to learn that shit. But other than that, that's what that is, so. As soon as I find me a tune, I think I partner mine, stir me in the right direction. Somebody in Nashville that does that as a, a performance shop probably can do that. And when I do do it, I want to get the uh, do the modification of adding electric fans to the vehicle. So therefore, just gotta go find me some electric fans. I don't want to go get no aftermarket. I want to go find me an old, uh, a, a newer model Tahoe Suburban. Get the fans off electric fan, GM fans off it. So just waiting on that. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The ABS light, the module's fucked up. So, but the motherfucker's not gonna die. So, just gotta replace that. Other than that, back in a minute, y'all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes another episode of Look at Your Motherfucker Self on this 2002 GMC Yukon. Till next time, y'all keep the mask on, stay the fuck out of folks' face, and we'll holler at y'all next time around.